This is an extraordinary achievement in one of in, in what is the largest infrastructure project uh, in Europe. The completion of the first tunnel. We've seen it for ourselves this morning. The first people to, uh, to, to 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 do so, and it is a remarkable feat of uh, engineering. And you know, this is a huge project. It's on time. It's on budget. Uh, it will transform transport around London and around much of the uh, United Kingdom. I'm very proud of the way that we're taking this project forward. It is, it is incredible. We all like to talk about infrastructure and it is one of the most important things for the future of this country. But coming down here, you see what it's really all about. The amazing engineering skills, the science, the, 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 the equipment that you see behind us that goes into making uh, what is the largest infrastructure project in Europe into the reality of a new railway line, new stations where we're uh, standing now. It's quite something. It's a massive increase in, uh, in rail capacity. It speeds up journey times across London, better connections uh, to Heathrow, better connections for central London, uh, linking up Crossrail to uh, the, the, the high speed line to Europe, for example. I mean, these are all things which will just make it much easier for people to get around the capital, but also much easier for people from across the United Kingdom to get through the capital, and it will bring huge, I think, business and economic benefits to not just to London, but to the whole of the United Kingdom. It's interesting, too, that companies working on this project are based all over the UK. So right now in the construction phase, it's not just London that's benefiting, but the whole of the United Kingdom.